Hey guys, it's Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company and we're in my garden and today I'm going to be very vulnerable. I'm going to share with you in this safe space what I did wrong this year and there's a lot of things but the one thing I really want to talk about was my attempt to try to manage weeds the lazy way didn't work because I don't know if many of you guys know but I had a baby this year and I was hoping to get a little bit of help by using weed cloth. Now before I get into all of the information I've learned over the years about managing weeds and what mistakes you can avoid making, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we put out a video. So let's backtrack here and let me just tell you, just had a baby, baby seven weeks old, happy and thriving. Prior to having the baby, I thought, oh no, I'm not going to have any time to, to weed. I need to make a way in which I can and manage the weeds a little bit easier. So I bought really, really expensive weed cloth and it didn't do anything to help manage the two worst weeds that I have in the garden, which is nut sedge and Bermuda grass. Now you guys can comment on this video if you're like, well, no, no, don't comment on my shoes. My feet hurt, so now I have to wear these weird shoes. Ah. Okay, don't judge me. You can comment on the video and, and say if you have these two weeds, what you've done to try to manage them. But in our experience, the only thing that you can do to get rid of these weeds is to very carefully dig every single one up. Come over here and I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's a section of the garden that I've actually been pulling back this weed cloth. And you can see that they're still popping up. This is nut sedge. And this type of weed is grows by a little um, nut. That's why they call it. It loves beautiful organic soil, which look at my soil. This is beautiful. Now in building this gorgeous soil, we also built a really nice home for these guys here. This is how they grow, okay? They're really, really difficult to get rid of. And I thought, and I was wrong, that I could buy very expensive, high quality weed weed cloth that it would not grow through. And I'll show you exactly what's happened. It grew right through. Look at that. Isn't that insanity? So the nuts are on the bottom and the um, weeds just grew right through it. Not only did I waste a lot of time when I was seven months pregnant putting down this weed cloth, but I also wasted a lot of money buying this weed cloth. Now, I know that I've talked about re weed cloth before and <clears throat> I want to make sure that you understand that it's really only a good idea to even attempt to use this product once you have really good developed soil. You can see our soil is gorgeous, okay? This has taken years for us to develop, to develop this beautiful black soil. And because I had really good soil, I have really good soil, I felt like it was worth the risk and the investment to try to put down weed cloth. And the reason why I mention that is because if you have really terrible soil and you put down weed cloth, you are slowing down the process in which nutrients, oxygen, water, and all the things that you need to develop really good soil can get into the ground because you're using this basically plastic byproduct to keep it to, to cover the ground. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you were putting down a cover like this, well then how are you gonna put down compost and manure and all the things that you need to build this beautiful soil? So again, don't even attempt to use a weed barrier in a garden setting unless you have really well-developed soil. And then the other thing is, if you have nutsedge or Bermuda, don't waste your time. It's not going to stop them from coming through. As my garden is proof of that right now, it, it's growing like there's nothing there. You can see it just came through without any problem and uh, you know, basically was a total and complete waste of time and money. Look, we all make mistakes and being vulnerable and being real and I'm hoping I can save you from making the same mistake. The only thing that grew underneath this weed cloth was Bermuda and nut sedge. So it does work for some uh, less aggressive weeds, but for the two that are really a pain in my butt, it did nothing for preventing them or stopping them. So the next question is, what am I gonna do now? Well, now I'm gonna spend a bunch of time taking this weed cloth up so that I can do what I should have done in the very beginning and begin the very difficult and, and uh, tedious task of trying to pull out as much of the nuts as I can from the nut sedge. 
Now one way in which I've done that pretty successfully is just use the screen. So I can use the screen to actually dig up the soil. And it's very wet right now because we just had all that rain. So I would want to wait until it's a little bit drier. But I can dig it up when it's a little bit drier. I can toss it on here. And I can find the nuts in there and get rid of these. Now these need to go in the trash. Not in your compost or in anywhere else in your garden because they will very easily reestablish. In fact, if you take these out and I were to throw them on the ground and leave them there, if they come in contact with moisture, they will re-root. So I have to get them completely out of the garden. I'm telling you, these things are like crazy mutant weeds and they're really terrible and hard to get rid of. So if you notice any of them in your garden, get ahead of them before it becomes a massive problem like it has for me. Um, so that's one way in which I can do it. See, here's more of these little guys. And um, I'm gonna do that with a shovel. And then I'm also gonna do that with a wheel hoe where I, I'm cultivating regularly and constantly. Okay, so the other weed that I mentioned is Bermuda grass. Now you can actually see it's starting, this is uh, where they start to flower. So I really wanna get this up before they spread the problem. The way in which Bermuda grows that makes it so terrible, um, excuse me, you're always in the camera, is they have these runners. And what happens as these runners grow is they re-root and they keep running and they keep growing. And so if you don't stay on top of them, they will really get out of control. Now, these are coming up pretty easily because I actually have some cardboard underneath here. Now, cardboard will not by any means stop the weeds from growing. It'll simply just stop you from seeing them. It's really a pain in the butt. And you can actually see, see these guys re-rooting. See right there? but you have to take the time and pull them up slowly, slowly, slowly. Now keep in mind me pulling this up did not take care of the problem. These can continue to grow and will have rhizomes underneath the soil that in some research suggests that it could be as deep as like 10 feet. Trust me, I've been digging in the garden and I found them way deep down into the ground. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you chop these up, if you till your garden and you chop these pieces up, you're just multiplying the problem, you're making it worse. So the only way to get rid of these is to hand pull them constantly and regularly. And actually, I wanna say that it might be impossible to get rid of it completely, but to manage it better, you have to stay on top of it. Now, let me show you what it looks like when you don't manage it. It looks like this, totally out of control. Look how long this is. Oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. Look at this. Look, you see that? My gosh, I have some work to do. Uh, look at this. Yeah, okay. A little embarrassing. Keep in mind that I didn't have this much Bermuda just a year ago, but I put down the weed cloth. I thought that that would manage it. Had a baby, got busy, things happened. I wasn't constantly maintaining it, and this is how much it's gotten out of control. Now I'm going to have to beg and plead some of my friends to come over and help me weed in exchange for tomatoes because the only way I can get rid of this is to just really go in now and do a very good garden cleanup. So let me be clear, the weed cloth did not cause these weeds, they were already here. I had a false sense of security, I put the weed cloth down, thought it would manage it. It didn't, I got busy, I didn't take care of it and now it's out of control. Now I've got to pull it up and do a severe garden cleanup to take care of it. I do wanna note one other thing too. For those of you who don't have organic gardens or um, are probably thinking to me, oh boy, there's a way you can manage it. There are herbicides that you can use. In my garden, I'm not gonna use them because we've got tons of butterflies, we eat out of our garden, and it's just not worth it to me. So there are products that you can spray that will help you manage it, uh, but I just choose to take the hard way because uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. And just for a frame of reference, I do know somebody, <clears throat> the guy behind the camera, who has used Roundup to try to manage Bermuda. And yeah, it killed it off at first, but it did not get rid of the problem. And it, he would have to continuously spray it, which is really ingenious business plan because then you keep buying it. And you know. Anyways, the point is it didn't work. So you're using a very terrible chemical in your garden that's not actually taking care of the problem. It does help you maybe manage it. But again, for us and for me and my garden, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are the same, 
you want to have a safe, clean, chemical-free garden, so you'll do the extra work of hand pulling it before spraying it. So you might be thinking, gee, what do I even care? Why don't I just let my garden go crazy? Well, weeds are going to compete for water, nutrients, and space in your garden, and they definitely can choke out crops if left unchecked. Some weeds can harbor pests that will then attack your vegetables or your flowers. So in general, you want to keep a clean, tidy garden, and you want to pull up any weeds that you can. It'll look nice or it'll be easier to manage and take it from me don't take the shortcut and just continue to manage your weeds constantly you'll be way happier in the long run